Hi, welcome back everyone to Live Well and Prosper. I'm Dr. Ortiz. Today we're going to delve deeper into the relationship between alcohol and blood sugar. The link between them isn't as straightforward as carbs and understanding it can help those living with diabetes make informed choices. Our liver, a vital organ, has a pivotal role in blood sugar regulation. When alcohol enters into the system, the liver's primary function shifts to metabolizing this alcohol, temporarily sidelining its role in releasing glucose. This could cause a dip in blood sugar levels, a condition called hypoglycemia. The risk escalates if you're on insulin or specific diabetes medications. Here's where it gets tricky. Not all alcoholic beverages affects blood sugar the same way. Cocktails, for instance, especially can be deceptive. They often contain sugar-laden mixers, which can spike your blood sugar levels. So let's delve into some detailed tips for diabetics who consume alcohol. Number one, the food buffer. Before you sip that drink, ensure you've had a meal. Drinking alcohol on an empty stomach can lead to sharp blood sugar drops. Number two, the right choice. Lighter drinks can be your allies. This includes light beers, some wines, or spirits paired with zero calorie mixers. Number three, vigilant monitoring. Blood sugar can be unpredictable with alcohol, so regular checks are a must. Remember, alcohol can affect you for up to a whole day. Number four, mindful quantities. It's not just about what you drink, but how much you drink. Balance is vital. Number five, hydration is key. Alcohol tends to dehydrate the body. Ensure you alternate your drinks with water. This not only keeps you hydrated, but aids in blood sugar management. Now for the tech enthusiasts out there, modern advancements have blessed us with a remarkable tool, AI, specifically ChatGPT. Let's walk through a hypothetical scenario. Imagine you're about to have two glasses of wine and a plate of spaghetti. Let's see what ChatGPT has to say. I'm considering two glasses of red wine and a plate of spaghetti. How can I prevent blood sugar fluctuations? And just like that, ChatGPT has a response to our question. Let's let AI read the response to us. Enjoying two glasses of red wine and a plate of spaghetti sounds delightful. However, both wine and spaghetti can impact your blood sugar. Here's how you can enjoy your meal while minimizing blood sugar fluctuations. Choose whole wheat pasta. If possible, opt for whole grain or whole wheat pasta instead of regular white pasta. Whole grains have a lower glycemic index and can help prevent rapid spikes in blood sugar. Watch portions, rather than consuming a large plate of spaghetti, have a moderate portion. Pairing it with a side salad or steamed veggies can provide additional fiber and nutrients, helping stabilize blood sugar levels. Add protein, including a protein source, like lean meats, tofu, or beans, can slow the absorption of carbohydrates and therefore slow the rise in blood sugar. Consider adding ground turkey, lean beef, or grilled chicken to your spaghetti sauce. Healthy fats, adding a source of healthy fats, like olive oil or avocado, can also help slow carbohydrate absorption. Just be sure to use fats in moderation, as they're calorie dense. Red wine consideration, the effects of alcohol on blood sugar can vary. While moderate alcohol might cause a drop in blood sugar, excessive amounts can lead to a spike. Stick to one or two glasses, drink slowly, and always consume alcohol with food. It's also a good idea to check your blood sugar levels before and after drinking to understand how wine affects you personally. Stay active, physical activity can help regulate blood sugar levels. Consider taking a walk after your meal, as this can help lower post-meal blood sugar spikes. Stay hydrated, drinking plenty of water throughout the meal can help flush excess sugar from the blood through urine. Consider your overall day. If you've had a lot of carbohydrates or sugary foods earlier in the day, you might want to adjust your meal accordingly. Timing, eat at regular intervals and avoid skipping meals. If you're diabetic or have insulin resistance, maintaining a regular eating schedule can help manage blood sugar fluctuations. Monitor blood sugar, if you have a condition like diabetes, always monitor your blood sugar levels, especially after meals or consuming alcohol. Seek medical advice, if you're concerned about how food and drink will affect your blood sugar, especially if you have a medical condition, always consult with a healthcare professional. Remember that everyone's body is different, so what works for one person might not work for another. It's always a good idea to be in tune with your body and pay attention to how certain foods or drinks make you feel. If you have a history of blood sugar issues or are on medications that impact blood sugar, please consult your doctor before making any dietary changes. Isn't technology just fascinating? For a comprehensive exploration of diabetes, its intricacies, and harnessing AI's power to manage diabetes better, visit my website. The link's in the description below. 
If AI's possibility excites you as much as they do me, grab my free three-step guide on integrating AI into your journey. The link is below in the description. If you found this enlightening, hit like and don't forget to subscribe for transformative AI-based tips for managing diabetes. Until next time, remember to live well and prosper.